<laughs> Let's do the other. Okay. I think it's getting late. Uh, shall we begin? I love it though. I'm ready for some mango bread. Oh mango my god. Smoothie. Yeah, right. mango. I have lots of jars of pickled mango. I can bring that. We could have a forced on mango episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if my son doesn't eat it all, he ate all the ones from last week already. I'm like, but yeah, yeah, totally. So many jars of pickled mango. Oh, that's good for him. Awesome. Okay, let us begin. Let's find a nice, quiet seat of meditation on the sit bones and just take a moment and stack up the vertebrae so you feel nice support from your spine. Take a big inhale. Open mouth, exhale, letting it all go, letting go of anything not serving you and breathing in a fresh new day. Take another breath here. Open mouth, exhale, allowing this to be 75 minutes right here in the present moment. And I'd like to start with the chanting of Shiva Shambo. And if you are unfamiliar, it repeats Shiva Shambo four times and Mahadeva Shambo four times in succession. So feel free to join in after you feel comfortable. Take a big full breath. Open mouth, exhale. Big inhale. Shiva, 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 Shambo. Shiva, 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 Shambo. Shiva, 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 Shambo. Shiva, 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 Shambo. Mahadeva, Shambo. Mahadeva, Shambo. Mahadeva, Shambo. Mahadeva, Shambo. Shiva, 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 Shambo. Shiva, 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 Shambo. Shiva, 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 Shambo. Shiva, 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 Shambo. Mahadeva, Shambo. Mahadeva, Shambo. Mahadeva Shambo Mahadeva Shambo Shiva 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 Shambo Shiva 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 Shambo Shiva 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 Shambo Shiva 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 Shambo Inhale the arms up and high overhead, big breath here. And as you exhale, bring the thumbs to the third eye, setting an intention for your practice, a powerful intention from a fearless yogi can move mountains. A big inhale now. And as you exhale, bow forward so humble, honoring the practice, thanking yourself for showing up on the mat today, and invite the Ujjayi Pranayam the breathing in through the nose and out through the nose and allow there to be a powerful texture and a rhythm to the breath. Allow there to be the combination of activation of Mula Bunda, Uriyana Bunda, the pelvic floor, the belly button to spine and a subtle tucking chin to chest. Let this power the body. Take another big breath here. And stay for the exhale. Very nice. On an inhale, let's come up over the crossed ankles and find our neutral tabletop. With the shoulders over the wrist and the hips over the knees, let's just say good morning to the body with the cat cow. Nice, beautiful stacking from the hands. Big inhale, arching the spine. And as you exhale, tuck the tail. Continue to move with the breath here. Big inhales. Big exhales. Feel the pelvic dish come to life. Breathe light into the spine. Very good. One more cycle through cat cow. And then as you exhale, round the hips so much and push back hip to heel, child pose. 
Find the breath, say good morning here to the body. Shoulders roll out, maybe coming up on the fingertips. And as you exhale, settle down and through. Take a big inhale. And stay for the exhale. Very nice. And then come up onto the elbows. Let the hip come up over the knees. Take the hands to pranam. And then snuggle yourself back for the shoulder expansion. Take a few breaths here. Feel this beautiful expansion through the middle spine. And maybe reach forward with the chin. You can also take the fingertips to push the palms further apart. And stay for the exhale. Very good. Gaze forward on an inhale. Slide through low onto the belly into the sphinx pose. Tucking the upper arm into the side body and letting the hands flare out a bit wider. Grip with strong hands, press straight through the legs. And pull yourself through, leveraging off the elbow. Letting the shoulders tuck back and down, lifting from the crown. And breathe. Very good. Big inhale here. And then as you exhale, really assert the hands into the earth and straightening the elbows just as much as feels good. Feel the power all the way across the pad of the hand, the knife edge of the hand. Same time, flatten the tops of the feet down. Big inhale here. And as you exhale, lay it back onto the belly and fly, reach back. Fly the legs, fly the arms. Feel this activation in this good morning locus. Big inhale. And then bend the elbows and take the hands right under the heart. Press the tops of the feet down and rise up into your baby cobra. Active back strength here. Relax the glutes and use the power through the middle spine to create a beautiful swooping curve. Lifting from the crown and the breath, so gorgeous. One more inhale. And stay for the exhale. And then on the inhale, belly button up through tabletop. Exhale, push it back, child pose. Very nice. Let's burst up onto the knees with an inhale, arms sweep high overhead. And as you exhale, just find a baby camel, taking the hands to the hip and push the hip forward. Open the heart, open the throat, if that feels okay. Stay for the exhale, and then really squeeze the pelvic floor to the belly button. As you inhale, the arms up and high overhead. Very good. And then take the hands to the heels and take the crown of the head down. Let's find that rascally rabbit pose as we kick back through the heels, chin to chest, roundness in the spine. One more full breath here. Stay with the exhale. And then when you're ready, take the hands to the earth, tuck the toes, gaze back. <coughs> And as you exhale, straightening the legs up into your down dog. Take a good morning down dog and take a moment to set up the stance. If you want to pedal it out or walk it out, go ahead. But then once you've found the external body is satiated, come to the internal movements. So much power to be had here in the downward facing dog as you grip into the earth with the strong hands and roll the shoulder out as we wedge the hip back up and high and we praise the pink toenails because they're beautiful. <laughs> Take, a, I like them, you know. Take a big breath, push back and deep. Very nice. And stay for the exhale. Gorgeous. On an inhale, nice casual sun A. Take the right leg straight back, gazing forward. As you exhale, step up. Right foot comes between the hands and the left foot follows for a halfway lift. As you exhale, fold deep to the earth and take three breaths at the bottom, however deep feels good to you. Try to focus a flat tummy, flat spine. And then relax the head and the neck at the bottom. If you care to grab the back of the calves, pull yourself down towards the thigh. One more breath here. Powerful lifting in the root. And then on our inhale, bursting all the way up and high, or the hastasana, hands reach overhead. Take the hands to the upward salute, interlacing the finger with the steeple grip if that feels okay. 
And just take it to the right side. Feel the side body opening. The standing half moon. And stay for the exhale. Inhale back and through center. And nice and simple to the left. Feel the connection all the way from the knife edge of the right foot. And out through the fingertips. Square the hip to the top of the mat. Inhale back and through center. Reach up and high. And just cactus it back, bend to your own degree, squeezing back, power again from that flat three inches below the belly button to support the back bend. Stay for the exhale. On an inhale, circle the elbows back and high behind the ears. And exhale, hinge at the waist and fold to the earth. Uttanasana, three at the bottom, half lift to start it off. And exhale, fold down and deep. If it feels okay, you want to take the hands under the heels. You can really get up into the toes. Press that whole pad of the foot evenly into the earth, rounding through all ten toes. Using the arm strength to leverage yourself down towards the thigh. And stay for the exhale. One more here. Gorgeous. Good, and release the hands down to the earth on your inhale. Take the right leg up over the left shoulder, bend the knee, see the toes. Stay for the breath. Inhale, take the right leg straight back. Exhale, plug the right knee to the right elbow or shoulder. Inhale, shoot the right leg back, hands down. Exhale, left foot follows the plank. Big, strong plank here. As you exhale, just shift the toes to the right, let the heels fall to the left, and let both feet stay grounded to the earth, circling the left, or the right arm, sorry, overhead for a shoulder circle. Feel the hip high as you extend the right hand back to the earth, and then back to plank. Big inhale, and exhale, toes left, stacking toe to heel, hip really high. Inhale, left arm overhead and extend smooth breath through the shoulder into the earth gorgeous come back to plank big breath inhale here exhale your low chaturanga down allow yourself to stay floated come to the tops of the feet upward facing dog for an inhale push hard through the hands hold flex the quadriceps shoulders back in the socket even feel the pointer finger connecting Stay for the exhale. Inhale, belly button up. And exhale, tuck the toes, step it back into the dog. Very good. Take the right hand back to the left heel to twist. Twisting under the left side body, take a big breath. Flexing the left quadricep, pushing strong through the left arm. And hold. Gorgeous. Inhale, right hand forward. Exhale, left hand, right heel. Powerful, push the earth away. And breathe. Be the awareness, watch the human from that higher state of perspective. Inhale, left hand forward. And exhale, square back and dog. Inhale, left leg back and straight, gazing forward. And exhale, left foot steps up between the hands, right foot follows, halfway lifted. Maybe the hands begin to work the earth. Exhale, fold it down in deep. Really power through the thighs. Feel the head of the femur deep in the hip socket. Relax the head of the neck at the bottom. Uttanasana. One more. Expand out of the nape of the neck. And on the inhale, burst all the way up and high, or Bhastasana. And as you exhale, balance on the right foot. Extend the left leg out to the side. Steady focus to Drishti. Big inhale. And exhale, plug the knee to the elbow with the side body control. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, plug it in. One more inhale, lengthen. 
And exhale, plug in, gorgeous. Let's circle back through center and then find the opposite side. Balancing on the left foot, steady focus of the drishti, power of the side body, inhale. And exhale, plug it in. Gorgeous, feel the hip control. Inhale, lengthen. Feel the mobility with strength. Exhale, plug in. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, plug in. So good. Inhale, sweep back through center with the controls. And find the back bending to your own degree. If you'd like to walk the hands down the thighs here, power in the toes. Allow yourself to open through the throat. Lift from the core. Inhale, circle back through center high. And exhale, hinge at the waist and fold to the earth. Gorgeous, nice half lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold down and deep. Feel the toes ground the earth. Knife edges of the feet. Power the quadriceps long through the hamstring. And stay for the exhale. Very good. Fingertips down, half lifted with the left leg. Inhale, up and over the right shoulder. Stay for the breath. Inhale, kick it back and square up. Exhale, plug in knee to shoulder or elbow. Inhale, shoot the left leg back. And exhale, lift the right foot, follow it into plank. Big strong plank here. As you exhale, just bend the knees and let them hover. Very good, inhale back to plank. As you exhale, drop the elbows to the earth. Hold, low plank. <laughs> Big inhale. Exhale, down to the belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Relax the glutes. Shoulders back in the sockets. Push hard through the palms of the hands. One more breath. Lengthen the neck skyward. Gazing deep through the third eye. Relax the breath, one big one. Gorgeous. Inhale, belly button up through tabletop. Stop in rabbit pose with the shoulder expansion. Take the head to the earth and take the hands behind the back to interlace. Tucking the chin to the chest, maybe rolling forward to really expand the back of the neck. Beautiful breath. Nice. And then when you're ready, rise back up onto the knees, reach the arms up and high overhead. And this time, find the heels for the camel, pushing forward the hip, open the throat, and breathe. Big inhale. Stay the exhale. Very nice. Inhale, sweep the elbows back and high behind the ears. Exhale, child pose. Take a full breath in child. Expand the low spine. Settle on the exhale. Relax the muscles in the face. Big inhale. Tuck the toes, gaze back down, doggy. Step your feet up into that comfy, cozy doggy stance. And settle in for the breath, gripping through ten fingers, grounding through all four corners of the feet. Beautiful. On an inhale, take the right leg up and open the hip. Big long line of freedom. Let everything peel away. As you gaze under the side body, power the standing leg. And stay for the exhale. Gorgeous. Inhale the right leg back to square. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> square and strong. And exhale. Take the, le the right knee to the left elbow and extend out for the fallen triangle. Heart to the sky. Allow yourself to open here. Push out of the bottom hand so strong. And then as you inhale, really lengthen, twisting. And exhale, extend the top arm. 
over the top ear and circle back to the earth. Gorgeous. Inhale the right leg up for three dog. And exhale, right knee to nose. Right foot sets down between the hands. Let's find balance, warrior three, airplane arms. The airplane arms shooting back. Steady focus your drishti to one non-moving spot. And then slice open into standing half moon. The beautiful Ardha Chandra Asana, maybe finding the balance, maybe keeping the hand to the earth and really gazing the sky for control. Beautiful breath. A big inhale. As you exhale, take the left hand around behind the back, set the left foot down, and sweep all the way into the reverse warrior with the bind. Beautiful. Stay for the exhale. And then push out of the back leg. Big inhale. And then as you exhale, push the front leg straight. Pivot the chest sideways. Keep the bind. And extend out the right hand forward. Bound. Standing. Triangle. Big inhale. Pushing hard out of the back toes. Feel the obliques. And on an inhale, re-bend the front leg, sweep all the way back to the reverse. And exhale, push the front leg straight. Inhale, tick tock, stop sideways on the mat. And exhale, fold to the earth. Prasarita Padatanasana. A, take a half lift. And then walk it back and through and really feel that power in the body here as you lift the pelvic floor. Rotate the thighs inward and breathe. Each into chest. One more breath here. Stay for the exhale. Good. On an inhale, walk the hands back out in front to your halfway lift. Good. And as you exhale, travel to face the wall behind you. Dip the hip and lift the heart. And then exhale, straighten and bow. Hands down. Rebend. Take left leg all the way to hand standing against the wall. And then bend the right knee and see if you can hover to set it into your runner's lunge. Left foot back. Right foot forward. Left hand down. Right arm up. Beautiful breath. And as you exhale, roll to the outer edges of both feet. Gazing back. Dancing moon, gorgeous. Inhale, sweep the right arm back and through. And as you exhale, travel all the way back to the top of the mat. The left foot forward, now dip the hip and lift the heart. Exhale, straighten and bow. Take the back foot down on 35 to 45 degrees and find this modified pyramid. Really try to push with the hands and pull the left hip back in the socket, breathing. In through the nose, out through the nose. Texture, rhythm. One more breath here, all over the core. And when you're ready, rebend, step up, feet hips width. Nice halfway lift and lengthen. And squat. Let's find that yogi squat this morning. Take the time, make this very mechanical. Try to insert a vertical spine down into the hip socket. Shoulders back, tucked in, squeezing with the thighs, lifting in the pelvic floor. Pressing out with the elbows, gazing deep in the third eye. Straight neck, big inhales. Big exhales, expanding wrist. Good. Let's find our crow. Take it into that bakasana knees deep in the armpits, hands down firm to the earth, elbows up over the wrist, and squeeze it all together. If you squeeze super hard, it takes a lot of the slippery away if you're wearing shorts. Big breath, inhale. And then when you're ready on exhale, we'll flow. Take another one. Big breath in. And exhale your chaturanga. 
Very good. Inhale up dog or cobra. And exhale back to the down dog. Beautiful breath in dog. Take a moment. And walk it back hip high. Gazing back, long neck. Shoulders open. Space behind the heart. One more. Big inhale. Big exhale. Very good. Inhale, left leg up to open the hip with a big long line of freedom. Powerful. Feel the power as you press back, gazing under the side body. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, kick the left leg back to square and strong. And exhale, left knee crosses to the right elbow. Extend that left leg out way in front and fall in triangle. Open the heart. Push hard out of the back foot. Feel the twisting open in the chest. Big inhale. And as you exhale, extend right arm over the top ear and back to the earth. Good morning. Inhale, left leg up, three dog. And left knee to nose, left foot sits down, exhaling between the hands, rise up, warrior three, airplane arms, balancing. Steady focus, the drishti. Beautiful breath. And then slice open, Ardha Chandra Asana. Standing with the half moon. Perhaps taking the gaze to the sky and powering the earth away. Gorgeous. Big inhale. As you exhale, take the right hand behind to bind as you step the right foot back. Sweep all the way into your reverse warrior. And use that right hand to really press the thigh. Sink deep. One more inhale. And then exhale, push the front leg straight. Let the heart open to sideways. And extend into triangle. Bound floating. Big inhale, push hard through the front toes. And be of service to the earth. Very good. Big inhale, rebend, reverse. And exhale, push the front leg straight. Inhale, tick-tock, star sideways. Add on skandhasana just for strength. Dip left. Meow. And sink low. Try to power all the way up through star. Big inhale. Exhale, dip right. Big breath. And very good. Inhale, back up through star. And exhale, hands behind the back, interlace, prasarita, padatanasana, B. Beautiful breath. Maybe find it halfway. And then take it down and through. Powerful internal rotation. Pull the power up under the pubic bone. Sandwich the, pub the pelvic floor to the belly button. Chin to chest. Hands to the earth one day. And breathe. When you're ready, on an inhale, let's gently walk the hands back out front for a halfway lift. And then exhale, travel to face the wall behind you to dip the hip and lift the heart. Exhale, straighten and bow. Very good. Hands down, re-bend. Take the right leg all the way to hand standing against the wall. And bending the left knee into the chest. <laughs> Look forward as you pop. Set the right foot back down. Long national. <laughs> One more. Look forward. Pop it up. Thank you. I'm so, it's, uh, it's like, uh, it's hard because yeah. I have to go up with my left leg. Left foot forward. Right that was awesome. I can't do it. I'm not used to it. <laughs> you did so. Left arm up and high, runner's lunge, simple twist. I thought that was beautiful. 
And as you exhale, roll it to the outer edges of both feet, gazing back. Dancing moon. Gorgeous. Inhale, sweep the left arm back overhead. And exhale, travel back to the top of the mat. Dip the hip and lift the heart. Exhale, straighten and bow. And then take the back foot down 35, 45 degrees or so. Hands down, modify the pyramid and really push back. Suck back the right hip into the socket. Shoulders back. Powerful push through the toes. And stay for the exhale. Very good. On an inhale, we then step up with feet, hips width. And just take a breath, maybe grab the pink or grab the peace fingers to the big toes for a half lift. And exhale, pull yourself down and through. Beautiful. Keep the left hand on the left big toe. Take the right hand out to the side on the right and shift your weight right. Let the left foot come up. Beautiful breath. <laughs> Not easy. Not easy. Not easy. Yeah, other side, but yeah. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. When you're ready, set that left foot down. Nice, Natalie. That's not easy. That's the hipster for sure. That's the hip flexor. I see that. Left hand to the side and shoom, right leg up. Beautiful. Yeah, that side works a little better. Oh my god. And hold. Oh my god, that hurts. <laughs> When you're ready, bring it back to the earth. Give yourself a nice half lift, and then bend the knees and squat. Now you feel that big time IT band, right? I mean, we all have that kink in that. But the hip does move that direction. So it goes to show you how many directions the hip can go that we need to work with. Beautiful breath. And hold. Let's find Bakasana round two, taking the Beautiful crow pose. <laughs> and squeeze everything from the core so much that it hovers. Grip with the hands, maybe straighten the arms. And we'll float on an exhale. Take another breath up. Nice. Big inhale. And exhale your chaturangas. Nice. Inhale, up dog. Hold. Push hard through the hands. Flex the quadriceps, hover the thighs, smooth through the spine. Very good, big inhale, belly button up. And exhale, push back, dog. Take a big breath in, dog. And then walk the hands back to the feet. Find Padahasasana. Taking your time here as the toes massage out the wrist. Beautiful breaths. Knees bent as much as you need to. Focus detox. Let go in the body. Rebuild, invite fresh new cell growth. Very nice. Gently release, find a ragdoll, grabbing opposite elbows. Let yourself dangle. That's a funny word, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> There's a character in the movie, right? Dangle. Anyway, oh, that's the Reno 911. Gently rise yourself up to standing. Meant to be a funny name. And find Tadasana Mountain Pose. Take a moment, check in in the standing meditation. Lift from the pelvic floor, ground through the feet. Just a subtle bend in the knees, which allows the pelvic dish to shine up to the sky. Really, you are a spring in this body. Allow there to be always a bit of contained energy. Just like in surfing, you don't ever want to let all of your energy all the way out until a moment of explosion, at least. You want to keep energy contained so you have mobility within the energy itself. Shoulders back in the socket, lifting from the crown. And feel the body, so beautiful. Inhale, sweep both arms high overhead. 
And as you exhale, take the right hand back to find the wall behind you, letting the right thumb face upward for this beautiful brachial plexus release. Try to keep the pelvic dish square to the top of the mat. Don't let the shoulder collapse. Push hard through the hands so you feel under the pec minor, under the collarbone. And breathe. Reset the arm, the chest. Major nerve pathways in the body. That, this hurts me more than anything else we've done today. Inhale, both arms up and high overhead. And as you exhale, find the left hand to the wall behind you, left thumb pointing up, and don't let the shoulder collapse. Keep the scapula down in the socket, and then twisting, gaze over the right shoulder. Try to keep the pelvic dish square to the top of the mat, and isolate the stretch under the collarbone, through the pec minor, and relieve the brachial plexus. Hard through the hand. Feel the expansion between the radius and the ulna and the forearm. One more breath. Very good. On inhale, releasing both arms back up and high overhead. Let the blood flow. How good does that feel to the play? Let it go. And exhale, bring the hands down to the belly button for pranam and really squeeze yourself into this tight spring. Inhale, reach back and find the wall behind you. Exhale, crunch it back in. Two more times, inhale, reach back. Exhale, crunch it in really power from the toes. Use so much strength from the earth. Inhale, reach back. Now maintaining that strength, inhale, reach back, find the wall, and walk yourself gently down into your upward facing bow. As much as feels okay, maybe pressing the chest up against the wall. Breathe. Ready. Coming back out. Powerful core strength. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Natalie. Squeeze it. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Reach both. That's really powerful for the core. Reach both arms up and high. It's a sit up and a half. Yes. And pull exhale. Oh, dig to the earth. You let yourself reset here with the wide legs if you like, wrapping the arms around the back of the calf. And pulling the third eye towards the thumbs. Breathe. When you're ready, drop it to the knees. Find the intense top of the foot stretch here. With a big inhale, feet together, heels together, hands down, big breath in. And as you exhale, hoist it up and bow. Only as much as feels good for you. Mm, if any. Just <laughs> none, that's fine. And then when you're ready, release it. Let's find our Salamba Sirsasana, taking the crown of the head to the earth, elbows in tight and bringing the hip up over the shoulder for your supported head standing. Really find the stack here. No need to come all the way to the sky. It doesn't feel good today. Allow yourself a really beautiful stack. Strong body. Focused breath. Meditate. Relax all the muscles in the face.
when you're ready. Bring it in nice and slow. All the way back to the earth. Reach the arms back behind. Pull yourself into a nice little compressed child pose and let the shoulder decompress here. Come back to your intention. Come back to the breath. And then when you're ready, let's find the rabbit shoulder expansion, letting yourself roll up onto the crown, bringing the hands behind the back, into legs, chin to chest. Expand the spine. And then when you're ready, let's find um, dolphin. Take the elbows down, tuck the toes, and stand the legs up into the down dog stance with the dolphin elbows down. <coughs> Take your time and breathe. Take some time with the shoulder, as it can really be valuable, not just for your comfort, but for this posture. As you open the shoulder, it really allows the stack of Hinchamayarasana. When you feel you've made enough space and you want to fly, be active, but be meditative. Let everything just be supple and smooth. Taking your time. Setting yourself up with a nice straight shoulder and a strong body. Let everything be forward onto the hands with the subtle balance. Breathe. time here. Free to go with the binding if you like, but also not necessary. And then fold deep. Half lotus with the straight leg. Powerful forward folding. And allowing, if you do have the half lotus, a big detoxification for the gut here. I believe you have your spleen on the side. Let's rise up if you do have the bind or if you don't. And if you have tree, just the same. Take the left hand and grab the left toe. Extend to the sky and allow yourself to bow head to knee. Follow the core. And then when you're ready, release the bind and release the posture. Taking the right leg forward, let's find the opposite side. Taking your time, being mindful of the hip, being mindful of the knee, 
to realize that just because one side went there doesn't mean the other one wants to. If you like the binding, of course, feel free. But again, not necessary. Feel first priority the powerful straight leg forward fold. Expanding right hamstring. And if you do have the half bind with the lotus, you'll feel here is it the pancreas on this side, I believe. Beautiful breath. Being in tune with the vital organs in your abdomen. Squeezing out the guts, 
big detox. And then when you're ready, bring it back into the center, breathe it into the chest, hug it in tight. Rock and roll two or three times. And then let's come up for a seat at the back of the mat. If you have lotus in your practice, go ahead and take it. Otherwise, the simple cross legs will do for a lion's breath with option to fly, Mayarasana and chin stand, or any there, any variations thereof that you enjoy. Find lotus, right leg on top if possible, and then for meditation we'll find the opposite lotus or the opposite easy seat. Beautiful. Reach both arms up and high overhead. And exhale, roll forward, tongue out. And hip to the earth, hands high, inhale two more times. Exhale, roll forward, tongue out. I'll be ferocious. A yogi is not mild and meek, a yogi is a warrior. And hip to the earth, inhale, arms high. And exhale, roll forward, tongue out. That's right. Find those Mayarasana. If you can bring the hip and the elbow connection, you'll find a beautiful teacher topper. And from here, you may choose to find your chin standing with loads or unwrap it. Got yeah. <laughs> that. If you're not feeling it, scoop forward more with the chin, Natalie. Yeah, Corky loves it. Good job, oh. Natalie. Oh. Not an easy yeah. posture. I so, got that there. You got big boobs, as oh. Chanel pointed out. <laughs> it's harder with boobs. <laughs> my, my boobs don't really get it. Yeah, my boobs don't get it. <laughs> oh, so great. Let's have a seat for meditation. We'll sit for meditation before Shavasana is cued. So take your time here and just settle into the breath. Allow yourself this feast, which is meditation. We've prepared for ourselves a beautiful feast. Set the table so nicely. Everybody is at their seat. And now, the feast may begin. The feast of meditation. The feast of wisdom and knowledge. The food of the Akash. Allow yourself in by following the breath. Watch the inhale. Watch the holding at the top. Watch the exhale. And absorb in the pure space of no breath at all. Continue in this way.
Dive in now. 